Hello? Hi everyone, we're just, uh, this is Rebecca. We're just um, waiting for a few more folks and we'll get started. Okay, hi. Hi, this is Emily. Hi, um, this is uh, this is Rebecca. Um, we're at quorum, so I think we should get started. Uh, I'm going to call the meeting to order, and we'll do a roll call vote. Um, the meeting is called to order at 2 p.m. Um, Crystal here. Arnell, I'm here. Angeline? Here. Christy? Absent. Byron? Here. Ernesto? Here. Kikanza? Absent. Carolyn? Absent. Emily? Present. And Antoinette? Um, I am going to uh, move to approve the agenda today. Um, I second. Okay. And I'm just going to roll call um, to approve the agenda. Um, Crystal? Crystal, do you approve the agenda? Approve. Um, Cornell seconded. Uh, Angeline? Uh, approve. Byron? Approved. Ernesto? Approve. Emily? Approve. Okay. Um, and um, we'll move to public comment, item number two. Is there anyone present who would like to comment on the agenda items? Okay, I'm hearing nothing. So I am going to move on to the next item, which is um, Proposition 39 request for facilities alternative agreement. Um, if everybody Everybody should have that in their board packet. Um, this is our alternative agreement with LAUSD uh, regarding our withdrawal of a facilities request for the 2020-21 school year. Um, we have agreed to withdraw our request um, and uh, the district has agreed to release us from um, the Prop 39 agreement. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, please ask away. This is Emily. Um, I guess I would just ask um, maybe sort of a vague question, but um, is everything about this like standard, is this what we expected? No surprises, like this is how other schools, um, you know, have, have operated too, or is there anything unusual about it? I don't believe there's anything unusual about it. It, um, it is an agreement that is um, releasing us from any um, dispute um, we did have a pending dispute against the district. We're released, we're releasing any um, 
for dismissing the dispute essentially. Um, and we are um, not going to be charged any money for Prop 39 facilities. And we're basically agreeing that it's, it's over the Prop 39 request because we have a, a, private, a private site. And does it do anything, um, would it in any way prejudice our right to request um, Prop 39 location in the future. Let's say we somehow got put in a position where we needed to do that. Would this have any impact on, on a future Prop 39 request? No, we would be able to apply for Prop 39 again if we needed to after our lease expired. Um, does anyone else have any questions? Um, then I would move to, um, to sign this agreement so that we can be released from uh, the Prop 39 agreement with the district. I second. Arnell seconds. Um, I will do a roll call vote. Um, Crystal. Approve. Um, Angeline. Approve. Byron. Approve. Ernesto. Approve. Uh, Emily. Approve. Okay, so the Prop 39 request for facilities alternative agreement is approved. Um, I will be signing the agreement and uh, we will be turning it into the uh, district after this phone call. Um, our next meeting will be this Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, prepare for a long meeting. <laughs> Um, we'll be going over lots of things. We'll be posting the agenda tomorrow um, and we'll have a board packet. So um, I'm gonna move to adjourn this meeting. I can second it. This is Emily. Second. Great. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. We All right. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank Thanks, you so Rebecca. much, Rebecca. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Jose, <laughs> I see that you joined. Can you hear me?